Let me show you the difference between ivory black and Payne's grey. We'll be using them as the black color in the Zorn palette. Blacks and greys are known as a neutralizer, meaning they can counterbalance more saturated parts of a painting. For example, in this painting by Anders Zorn, we see how beautifully the warm blacks on the right and the cooler greys on the left counterbalance the slightly more saturated skin tones. Zorn is known to be using ivory black as a neutralizer. Ivory black is among the most popular blacks in the world. It is a strong and opaque color with, as a black shoot, a very low saturation. When diluted with some mineral spirit, we can see the true shade of this black. It is slightly warm. Whereas Payne's grey has a more bluish and cool undertone. Like this, the differences are quite obvious. But mixing ivory black with titanium white, the differences will get more subtle. It gives grey colors that are a little less warm than we just saw with the spirit. Titanium is very dominant. And since it is a cool white, the mixture will get less warm, pushing it towards a more neutral grey, with a cooler shade. On the other hand, we have the Payne's grey, which is so dark it's almost a black. And although it is pretty close to ivory black, it is a cooler color. It has this very beautiful and distinctive blue undertone, and is a little more saturated, Here's a lovely portrait by Modigliani, where he uses grey as a neutralizer. It's more obvious with the greys in the background. And more subtle with the bluish greys in the face. Here he creates this beautiful and elegant balance with the surrounding warm skin tones. Mixing ivory black with yellow ochre which is also muted, we get green greys that have a somewhat warm undertone, or brown shade. Mixing the same yellow ochre with Payne's grey give greens that are just a little more lively, greenish and more colourful. Let's have a look at this fascinating painting by Sargent. It is mainly a play of warm and cool greys, with only a few saturated parts in the yellows. Mixing ivory black with cadmium red, the most saturated color here, we get deep reds and warm browns. The midtones are more muted, grayish reds with a shade of brown purple cadmium red with Payne's gray gives deep reds also they are very close but in the midtones we get red grays that are cooler here the obvious blue shade gives us beautiful muted purples here the differences get more distinctive. So ivory black will give you the warmer and slightly more muted greys. And Payne's grey will give you the cooler and slightly more lively greys. But of course, both can work fine as a black and a neutralizer in your palette. My personal favorite black is Payne's grey. But please let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. I hope this video helps. Thank you.